Welcome to the Newborn Movement Assessment. This video intends to give parents and professionals the opportunity to, to assess an infant's movements from birth throughout their first year of life. Presently, there are medical and genetic tests to assist, coordinate, and direct an infant's doctors and nurses in order to identify current and potential health concerns. In contrast, the Newborn Movement Assessment introduces an effective comprehensive guide to determine short-term and long-term development concerns and also optimize and stimulate the baby's movement patterns through gentle touch. The Newborn Movement Assessment is a tool for assessing any baby's typical or atypical birth experience. The necessity for early detection and intervention is clearly evident in the growing prevalence of developmental concerns such as autism, cerebral palsy, and genetic disorders. Without this crucial early intervention program, infants exhibiting movement concerns are at a much higher risk of long-term special needs. These techniques will result in immediate improvements to an infant's development, whether the infant is completely healthy or demonstrating significant developmental delays. Ultimately, the objective of the newborn movement assessment is to demonstrate that initiating specific movement patterns at birth or shortly afterwards will encourage optimal cognitive and motor development. The evaluation of birth. A full-term vaginal delivery is key to the development of a baby's central nervous system. One of the primary purposes of a vaginal delivery is to initiate rotation in a newborn central nervous system and also to stimulate the brain's ability to learn from movement and environmental stimulation. A pregnancy that is unable to deliver a baby naturally through the birth canal due to possible medical complications is either pre-planned or an emergency cesarean. Movement trauma, which affects a newborn's natural movement patterns, increases as the interventions to delivery increase. The simple act of pulling a baby out of the uterus without any purposeful rotation can fail to stimulate the central nervous system, limiting the ability for the baby to react to stimuli, therefore limits the newborn's ability to respond to the environment. One of the most important features of the newborn movement assessment is the ability to identify an infant's lack of rotation immediately following birth. The newborn movement assessment evaluation can be completed while the newborn is awake or asleep. It is recommended for newborns to be lying on their back to conduct the assessment. You can set up a phone or a video camera to record your thoughts and observations as you evaluate your child. Rotation of the head. Gently slide your fingers underneath the head. Slightly tilt the head to the left and then to the right. Did you notice that you cannot move the head to the right, but you can to the left? Did you notice that your infant's head is asymmetrical while lying down? Does the infant's head or nose or face one foot or one shoulder? Does the same side of the shoulder and pelvis present with less rotation? If you've answered yes to any of these questions, place a one on the evaluation sheet. Rotation of the shoulders. Gently slide one to two fingers under the right shoulder with a light lift. In most cases, the width of your two fingers will be enough depending on the size of the child. Now slide one to two fingers under the left shoulder with a light lift. Was it easy to lift both shoulders? Did you notice that both arms are responding by going in and out of a bent position? Did you notice a significant difference from lifting the right side in comparison to the left? Did the infant's head respond to the movement on one shoulder? Were one or both arms stiff or straight? Were one or both arms floppy or non-responsive? If you've answered yes to any of the questions, place a one on the evaluation sheet. Rotation of the arms and elbows. Gently slide your hand under the right elbow. As you lift to the elbow, notice if the arm is moving and is bending in and out. When touching or picking up the elbow, focus on rotation, not bending, gently through the midarm, repeating the same assessment on the left elbow. Was it easy to lift both elbows? Was it easy to rotate the arms and the elbows? Is there a difference in rotation from the left in comparison to the right? Did the arms just seem stiff or non-responsive? If you've answered yes to any of these questions, place a one under the newborn movement assessment evaluation sheet. Rotation of the hands. Gently lift your infant's hand to your fingers. Gently rotate their hand through the palm and the wrist and the right to the left. Is there a difference in rotation from the left in comparison to the right? Is it hard to open the hand? 
Do the fingers move in and out and around you? If there is movement concerns, is there rotation in each finger? Does the infant startle or panic? If you've answered yes to any of these questions, place a one on the evaluation sheet. Rotation of the spine. Gently rotate your child on their side, moving their pelvis forwards and backwards. After doing this for a few times, lie them on their backs and rest. Is there a difference in the rotation going forwards to backwards? Is it easy for the body to go with the movement? Does the infant startle or panic? Does the infant seem stiff or is hard to rotate through the spine? Does the infant seem soft or non-responsive to rotation? Does your infant seem to fall or flop? If you've answered yes to any of these questions, place a one under the spine section of the Newborn Movement Assessment Evaluation Guide Sheet found in the Newborn Assessment Guide. Rotation of the chest. Gently touch your infant's chest as if you were checking on how they were breathing. Gently rotate the chest to the right and to the left. Is there a difference in rotation from the left in comparison to the right? Do you feel the rotation in the chest? Does the infant seem stiff or is it hard to rotate through the chest? Does the infant seem soft or non-responsive to rotation? Does the infant startle, panic, or seem to stop breathing? Does the infant seem to fall or flop? If you've answered yes to any of these questions, place a one on the chest section of the newborn movement assessment evaluation sheet. Gently slide one to two fingers under the right pelvis with a light lift. In most cases, the width of your two fingers will be enough for a lift depending on the size of the infant. Now slide one to two fingers under the left pelvis with a light lift. Was it easy to lift both sides of the pelvis? Did you notice that both legs responded by going in and out of a bent position? Did you notice a significant difference from lifting the right side in comparison to the left? Were one or both legs stiff or straight? Were one or both legs floppy or non-responsive? If you've answered a yes to any of these questions, place a one under the pelvis section. Rotation of the legs and knees. Gently slide your hand under the right knee. As you lift the knee, notice if the leg gently bends or if the leg stays straight. There is a difference between a leg that goes in and out and a leg engaging in a bend. Lightly hold the thigh through the femur and rotate your hand left and right, noting if the leg also rotates. Does the infant's leg flop with no response? Now touch or pick up the knees. Do not bend, but to rotate gently through the mid leg. Does there seem to be a difference between the right side and the left side? Does one or both sides of the child's body not seem to rotate? Does some or all the infant's body appear to be stiff or floppy? Does the infant startle or panic? If you've answered yes to any of these questions, place a one under the legs and knees section. Rotation of the feet and ankles. Gently touch or pick up the ankles. Do not bend, but to rotate gently through the foot around the leg. Does the infant's foot just seem to flop with no response? Does the infant's foot seem stiff or straight or hard to bend or rotate? Does there seem to be a difference between the right side and the left side? Does either one side or both sides of the child's body seem not to rotate? Does the infant startle or panic? If there are movement concerns, is there rotation in each toe? If you've answered yes to any of these questions, place a one under the feet and ankle section of the Newborn Movement Assessment Guide Evaluation Sheet found in the Newborn Movement Assessment Guide. Initiate gentle, healthy touch. The possibilities of touch with a sense of wonder and commitment is very powerful. The more that you touch your baby with an ease of movement, the more the baby will have an ease of movement. The more that you touch, the more movement possibilities the baby will have. It's that simple. The intent of the newborn movement assessment is for parents and professionals to understand that initiating movement patterns immediately or within days of birth will lead to optimal cognitive development. Sound medical decisions should be continually made for each infant. The newborn movement assessment is not critical of delivery choices or medical evaluations. Rather, it is designed to be complementary to assessments already in place, such as the APGAR score. For further information regarding the newborn movement assessment, please go to newbornmovementassessment.com or contact Michelle Turner directly if you're interested in becoming a newborn movement assessment practitioner and or a movement lesson practitioner. She can be reached at movementlesson.com.
Newborn Movement Assessment Guide is available at Amazon.com and at the newbornmovementassessment.com website. The Newborn Movement Assessment is not intended to be a substitute for the medical advice of physicians. The reader should regularly consult a physician in matters relating to their infant's health, particularly with respect to any symptoms that may require diagnosis or medical attention. By joining this exciting community, you will learn how to help infants from the moment that they enter the world and change the lives of countless children and families. Out of necessity to help her globally delayed child, Michelle Turner, Movement Integration Specialist, created Movement Lesson to benefit children throughout the world.